What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching a magic review on the Greek Peak Wallet by Tony Antonio. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to join the Chris Edwards Magic Secret Access Group over on Facebook. Any questions or comments, just put them in the comment section below. And with that, let's get to the review. So today we are looking at the Greek Peak Wallet by Tony Antonio. This is released through Vanishing Ink, and this is a minimalistic peak wallet. So what do you get? So you're going to get the wallet, right, in this nice little package here. Inside is just a download code and the wallet. So we'll get that out of the way. First off, this is a peak wallet, right? Uh, it's a minimalistic wallet, so you don't have a lot of storage, but this is one of the best peaks that I've ever come across. Now, there are similarities to a few other wallets. So if you're familiar with uh, like Blink 2, the EDC peak wallet, the Orphic, there are some aspects of the Orphic that are similar. However, this is the best that I've come across um, when it comes to peaks of this style. Now with this you will get a full billet peak and you can get this in basically almost in real time like uh, pretty much as soon as you put the card into the wallet you're able to get your peak. Uh, you don't have to go back to the wallet so I know some people don't like going back to the wallet for like another business card or whatever your motivation or justification is. Uh, with this you don't have to. So first, I'll give you a close-up of the wallet. We'll go over the quality. And then um, I've actually been given a suggestion from my Cosmos uh, review. Someone commented, uh, just show the product and enough with the blah, blah, blah. So um, I'll show you the quality and then, well, you're on your own for everything else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just told them to go watch a different review channel. Anyway. Uh, let's go over the quality. So uh, if anybody who is familiar with Tony Antonio or uh, his work, he also has a website called The Mind Hacker. Now he sells and produces a whole bunch of different things, whether it be wallets or different holders, all out of leather. So he's a leather worker and his quality is next to none. Now this is produced and distributed by Vanishing Ink. He sold Vanishing Ink the rights to this design, but he wanted to ensure that the quality was would meet his standards. So they've done that. Um, this is a nice leather. You can see it's pretty thick, but uh, all the stitching is really good. The leather itself is really good. On the back, you have a money clip. And on the front, you have one working pocket, and then your uh, gimmicked area. So again, it's a minimalistic wallet. If you just have a couple cards to carry um, and you got some cash, then, then you're good. Uh, anything more, you'll probably want to carry this as an additional piece, which is what I do. I carry my full wallet on me as well as this now. So what makes this so good? Uh, basically, you bring out a business card or billet for them to write on. Now, what I've done here is something that uh, Tony posted about in the uh, Greek Peak Wallet users group on Facebook. This is an idea from Christian Grace. Um, I hope it's okay that I, that I kind of go over this because credit to Christian Grace, this is the best idea that, that I've heard for uh, basically justifying why you're taking a card back and putting it back in your wallet. So what I've done here is I ordered a bunch of punch cards. Now I just got these off Amazon. Uh, it cost me, I think, like $13 for $400. And then I bought a, a star hole punch just because it's a little bit different than just your standard circle punch. Um, and I, I punched everything other than one. So Christian's idea is to... Uh, basically, the way that I, I go about it, my patter is, um, I say, okay, we're going to try something here. Um, and I'm, I'm acting as if I, I'm not sure what we're going to use. And then, oh, just a sec here. We'll use this. And I pull this out. So we can use this, but I do need it back because I'm one punch away from getting a free and whatever you decide, whether it's a coffee or whatnot. So 
you give them this. What I also like about having these punches on the bottom is uh, I'll always know the orientation of how to put this back into the wallet. So they'll write on this. And then after that, this goes back into the wallet. And then just like that, I, you know, I state, we're just going to keep this in here where we got it from. I've already got my peak. You can show the wallet, have it placed in their hand and do your reveal. Let's get into the tutorial. Tony goes over a lot here. He, he has like five or six different peaks and it's all shot really good because you'll get a view from the front um, along with him explaining what he's doing. And then you'll also get an over the shoulder shot. So you get to see everything behind the scenes. There's a number of different handlings. One is uh, just to put the card back in like this. And then I'm getting my peak right now. And then just, you know, putting it down. Now you don't have to draw attention to it saying, I can't see through the front, I can't see through the back, right? But it, it is nice that after you get your peak, you can kind of just turn everything around and place it in their hand. That way they're seeing it from all angles and, you know, obviously nothing seems out of place. So with that, there's a bunch of different peaks. All of them are very good, right? They have a table peak here where you uh, lift the wallet, get your peak, set it down. Um, so basically just pick whatever one works best for you. But that's great because in doing that, you get your peak. You don't have to go back for a card for yourself. Um, they can be holding the wallet. It's all very deceptive. There is also one other thing that you get with this that I forgot to mention, but that's uh, this card here. So this is like a, uh, I think it's like an American Express card. Um, it's gimmicked, right? So uh, just a, as another added layer of, of deception and impossibility. But uh, this card's actually, it's really cool. Uh, I don't think you can get these cards on their own, although it would be nice. So it's just a nice little addition to picking up this wallet. Now, <clears throat> difficulty level. This is one of the easiest peak wallets that there is to use um, for a number of reasons. Basically, there's there's no funny moves. There's no complicated handling. Uh, there's really nothing that you have to do, right? You can be holding it like this, just at your fingertips, right? And right here, I'm getting the peak. Turn it over. Um, there's nothing that you need to do, right? There are some, I guess, more advanced handlings, but all of them are simple. And if you don't want to do those ones, then you can simply hold the wallet like this and, you know, you've got your peak. So the wallet couldn't be easier to use. Angles. So angles, as with any peak, right? I mean, if somebody is standing behind you and in the same line of sight that you are, that won't be good. But the angles with this are really good. Basically, um, you can be almost surrounded. You can even have people to the side just by uh, altering your handing a little bit, right? So uh, obviously from the front, they can't see anything. Uh, if they're on the side of you, you can kind of turn the wallet in a little bit so that you're blocking from these people and your hand right here is blocking those people. So basically can be done surrounded. If you are surrounded completely and there are people kind of almost 360 to you, if you have a like a jacket, you can, in the action of putting your wallet into your jacket, you've got complete cover, you can put it in and you know, you can perform this surround it that way. But aside from that, just in general, your angles are really good. Setup and reset. Uh, this is, there is no setup, right? It comes ready to go. Uh, just make it look like a wallet or make it look like you actually use it for something. And the reset is instant. Can it be examined? No, like I wouldn't give this to them to handle, right? Because uh, there is a moving part, right? And it's not, uh, there is no kind of locking system. Now, uh, you can, I, I know some people in the Facebook group have mentioned how they have kind of made it so that, or they've they've altered it or modified it uh, so that it can lock. Now, um, that's fine, but it's not something I would do because that eliminates a number of really good peaks and the seamless movements that it takes to get those peaks, right? Uh, so I, I am not doing that. Uh, when I carry this around in my pocket, all I do is I take a black rubber band and I just set it like this. Um, 
I'm not going to get more into why I do that or say anything else, but it's just something that I, I do when I'm not using it. When I am ready to use it, this can be taken off in my pocket or, uh, you know, even if you take it off out in front of any everybody, nobody's going to be the wiser. You know, I keep that on there to make sure that the bill doesn't come out or anything like that, right? So that kind of keeps everything in place, but it's not necessary. Tony, he... In the tutorial, he places the wallet in their hand, has them place their other hand on top. The fact that they're holding this, uh, if you choose to do that, and the fact that they can see everything all the way around, right? There's, it, it doesn't seem suspicious, right? It doesn't seem like this can do anything other than be a wallet. So I wouldn't worry about examination. Pocket space. So this is very minimalistic. It's thin, it's small. Um, again, I carry this as an addition to my everyday wallet. My everyday wallet is big, right? It's the JOL Plus. I like it. Not everybody does because it is big. But, you know, it has a lot of storage. So I put all of my cards in here. And then in this one, I just have one card, which I don't use this card anymore it's expired it's it's no good uh, it's just for looks but if you uh, only carry like say a bank card on you during the day then this will work for you um, if not just add it to the same pocket that you use your regular wallet because it really doesn't add any any space is this a worker and who would use this I think this is probably the best working peak wallet that I've come across. Um, it, it'll work in, in any situation, you know, uh, strolling, walk around close up. I think because the angles are so good and y you can do this so quickly, right? Like in order to get your peak, not having to go back to the wallet or do anything like that, um, it's just straightforward, right? So put the, put the card in, give them the wallet or place the wallet down and you can get right into your reveal. Now, I'm not saying rush your reveal, right? Obviously, make it the entertaining, have, have a good presentation. But with that, there's there's no extra steps, right? You put that in and you get straight to your reveal. So if you're in a situation where you're strolling or you've got a lot of tables to cover, this is perfect. In addition to that, the you don't have to worry about lighting issues, right? This doesn't use filters. This doesn't use... Uh, mirrors or anything like that right you get a full billet peak it's crystal clear so that's another a big thing because if you're working in like a bar the lighting might be dim so this is awesome um obviously this is for the mentalist right so mentalists will use this what's the price and is it worth your money so this is fifty dollars and uh hands down that's that's worth it the quality of the the work that was put into this the quality of the materials and then just the overall design. I think um, this is very affordable, right? You look when you look at uh, a lot of peak wallets on the market. Uh, you're looking around that hundred dollar mark, maybe even more. Uh, now again, maybe this doesn't have the amount of storage that some others do, but again, it's it's about half the price. So I think when you factor in how good this peak wallet is and the qualities, um, it's very easily money well spent. Pros and cons, positives, negatives. Um, the pros, like I said, the simplicity of it. The way to get your peak, not having to go back to the wallet. Full peak, it's it's all, you know, the list of positives is almost endless. Negatives, the only thing for me is that it, it really only carries one card in, in the working pocket. Now, at the same time, that's a positive for a lot of other people, right? Maybe I can't use this as my everyday wallet, but like I've mentioned, adding it into the same pocket as my everyday wallet really doesn't take up any more space. Uh, the fact that it only has one working pocket doesn't affect me because I never intended to use it as my actual wallet. So, I mean, that that can either be a negative or a positive for some people, but overall, that is the only thing that I have to say um, that even could resemble any type of negative, because aside from that, I think this thing is absolutely perfect. I give it my highest recommendation. I love it, and I've been using it since the day I got it, and this is something that's always going to have a place in my pocket. Um, I am going to pick up another one just as a backup.
Not that this one will ever come apart or anything like that, but I always like to have two of things that I know that I'm always going to use. Now with that, I think that uh, covers everything else that uh, I have to say. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go pick this up, which I would definitely recommend doing so. And with that, we'll see you at the next review.